Meanwhile, back to the thing we were doing, the show, right? Thank you. Yeah. We have a game we call we have a game we call Roustabout Storytime. Uh, it is an improv game, and it works like this. We need a, a location from you guys. Brand. Supermarket. The supermarket. We need a, a, a task or challenge that our Roustabouts, our Wranglers from the circus, must overcome. I heard reptile dysfunction, zombies, and planning a party. So those are the things that will exist in Roustabout story time. Of course, all the Roustabouts are now welcome to the stage. You're sitting on my foot. You are no longer. I have to go. Where? It's so sweet. I'm so happy. I almost forgot. There's a buzzer. The game, you see, is played like this. Whenever somebody starts to explain the game, at some point, TJ may decide to make this sound. <laughs> TJ's that board one. may decide to make this sound. <laughs> at which point, they must state something else, thereby escalating the game. Our roustabouts for the evening are our own Johnny Morbid and Mr. Christopher Strand. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Roustabout Storytime. Yeah! This is Roustabout Storytime. Roust about story time. So, me and Johnny, we were gonna plan a fantastic party because there are zombies now. And we just kind of throw a party for no matter what reason. So, we had to go to the grocery store. So, we go to the grocery store. We're like, I, I, I know, I know, I, I know what kind of I know what kind of thing we need for this zombie party. Lizards. So many lizards. Like, like 15 lizards. Yeah, a bunch of lizards. So we go to the store, we go to the grocery store, and we're like, tell us where your lizards are. And the guy's like, I don't know where the lizards are. And the guy's like, we don't have any lizards. And the guy's like, we have some lizards, but unfortunately, they're wrong. We have wrong lizards. We have something of a reptile dysfunction. <laughs> yes. So we, well, we looked at this, this nice checker who some reason was still coming into work even though there were zombies everywhere, good trooper. And we asked him, what exactly is wrong with these reptiles? Why is there some sort of dysfunction? And he looked at, looked at me and Johnny and he goes, well, they speak Spanish. They, At were, which, they were supposed to speak Russian. <laughs> At which point, we responded, well, hey now, this is the 21st century. We're an accepting people. Speaking Spanish is nothing to be ashamed of, even if your lizards were supposed to be speaking Russian. It's something that happens to a lot of, you know... Reptiles of a certain age. It, it, it's, it's been known to happen. It's been known to happen. So, we say, all right, fine. Our zombie party will have to do with Spanish-speaking lizards. At which point he said, well, we've got another problem with these lizards. See, they've all escaped. Yes. Escaped, you say? Like, like, escaped, like they're somewhere in the store? Well, that would be nice, except no. In actuality, they have escaped into the parking lot. They have escaped into Wyoming. They have escaped into the 14,000th level of hell. We didn't know where, we didn't know there were that many levels of hell, but apparently they've been doing a lot of expansions and renovations, and so, you know, it's beautiful. Like, one of them has, like, a pool of, like, toenails. Yeah. <laughs> So like one of them has like a weight machine made out of Cheetos. Are we sure we're talking about hell? Well, I mean, think of it this way. Chances are it's hell, it's really sweaty, no one's gonna wipe down that machine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So me and Johnny, of course, being upstanding citizens and have no idea, we have no idea where hell is. 
Uh, we say what happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, I looked at Johnny and it's like, do you really want to go back home? <laughs> and I'm like, well, I mean, what's a, what's a zombie party without a bunch of Spanish-speaking, not Russian-speaking lizards, right? That or in hell. Or in hell, you know. So we go back to hell, right? Get all these lizards on the 14,000th level of hell. That was a really long elevator ride, let me tell you. The it's music okay, was terrible. Because, like, we, we know some guys, so we got, like, VIP seats. Yeah. Which is to say we know Russ. Oh. Hi, boss. So there we are. We're going down to hell to wrangle all these escaped Spanish-speaking lizards for our zombie party. Because what's a zombie party without Spanish-speaking lizards? Am I right? So we're down. We're at the 13,000th level of hell. It's like, huh. This took a while. Is it even worth it anymore? Well, we're almost all the way there, Johnny. Yeah, but I mean, like, we're down here. We've gone 13,000 levels, and we haven't gotten these lizards back. I mean, we're gonna have to go back up all those thousands of levels again. Well, Johnny was faltering, but I really, really, really wanted lizards because I kind of wanted to impress my buddy Scott because he likes lizards. Scott does like lizards. So much so that he's been known to impersonate a lizard in bed. You'll Liz probably never see it happen. I was following them down in my lizard suit. <laughs> so there's, there's Scott. He's in his lizard suit, right? And we're like, wait a second. Scott. You're a lizard guy now. Maybe you can help us find the lizards. So at that point, I took out my trombone of power from my lizard tail holding case. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I need both of you Exactly. And the lizards, they crawled up to me. Well, needless to say, we were a little freaked out because they kind of pried the elevator door open and it kind of... It was scary. But they just surrounded Scott, and it looked really, really cool. Just like, that's great, until we realized that there were so many lizards on Scott, like 15 lizards on Scott. We couldn't see Scott anymore. We got scared. <laughs> Scott, Scott, can you hear us? Yes, I said. He spoke very clearly through the lizards. It was a little eerie. Then the lizards, they, they, they congeal together, the heat of their scales sliding all over each other, just fuse into one massive lizard exoskeleton. And then I roared exactly like that. Do it again. Which brought forth all the demons of hell with, with wings. This is relevant, this is relevant. So the winged demons came down, they're like, what is that? What is that roar? It's magnificent. And then Johnny looked at me and said, that's, that's, that's Scott. He's, he's a lizard man exoskeleton now. It's kind of like being a lizard power ranger. <laughs> go, go, power lizards. <laughs> so then the demons are like, with such an awesome roar and body suit, can we help you out, man? I mean, you're, you've just impressed us so much. Is there anywhere you want to go? We have a party to get to. What kind of party, they said. <laughs> a zombie party? No kidding! A zombie? We have, like, a whole horde of zombies! Okay, that's cool. Um, the party was supposed to be in celebration of them being there, but we weren't actually inviting any zombies. Dude, that's racist. <laughs> Zombist? They prefer the term necro-Americans. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> rights! Well, needless to say, we felt really bad about excluding all the zombies from the party, so, you know, we obviously had to send a quick evite out to them. Well, all the zombies are right here behind us, said the hordes of winged demons. 
We can fly them there. If they're all here, then are there no more zombies up there? They're, these are hell zombies, not I just, I just thought we suddenly saved the world, and I was going to really celebrate, that's all. Wait, wait, so, so what, are, are you saying that like all zombies look alike? Is that what you're trying to say there? You're trying to, you're trying to say, you're trying to say you can't tell the difference between one zombie and another zombie? Is that what you're trying to say there? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, see, Fred, he only has one arm. And, and Luke, he's missing an eye. And Jim, he has no legs. <laughs> Word. Well, I feel really ganged up on right now. If you can admit that zombies are people too, or at we, least used to be, we can live in harmony then. Together, we can embrace our newfound brotherhood. So what you're saying is that if I admit that a zombie used to be alive, it won't try to eat me? Well, let's not be hasty. <laughs> now, now, you're, now you're putting your, your lifeist mentality on them. Don't force your beliefs on the Necro-Americans. Well, don't let them force m my, their beliefs of not me not being alive on me. I don't like this. When has a zombie ever tried to make you not alive? Um, like 20 times on the way here. And it's probably because you were being racist towards zombies. No, I just have a, a beating heart. <laughs> Bring it out today! But, if they agree to behave themselves, at least for the length of the party, they can come. <laughs> at which point, the zombies decided, you know, it's been a while since we had a party. I think we can do this. And so, Zara, queen of the zombie party goers, decided, yeah, let's do this thing. And just as Zara was going to interrupt the party with uh, teaching these guys how to get down, all of a sudden the lizard said, hola. <laughs> hola. Uh, sorry, lizard. Uh, me llamo Legion. And uh, mm, <laughs> se habla español. Si? Uh, uh, donde esta la biblioteca? <laughs> Tu quieres fiesta? Uh, uh, yo soy el baño. Fiesta de zombie? Si. <laughs> At which point, the zombies decided, you know what? To hell with going back up to the surface where all those lifers were. Let's just party down here. Which made things really easy for Jim because he had no legs. <laughs> and so, me and Johnny, realizing that we have a huge distraction now and we can go back and have our party, we grab Scott Rankus in the Spanish lizard suit and we just ran up. It's, it's hell. Physics are different. These things happen. These things happen. So we drag Scott out of hell and we're back at the party with his lizard suit. At which point we realize, shit, we forgot the dip. <laughs> <laughs> well, manning up, Johnny went back to the grocery store. And so, as I went back to the grocery store, supermarket, supermarket, <laughs> I looked at the clerk and I said, Mr. Clark, who had no properly functioning lizards for us. We have another problem. Oh, okay, cool. Dips on aisle three. Thanks! Bye! And so we had the party, and it was wonderful! Yeah. Oh, now wait a minute. This is a roustabout story, and as you know, those always have a moral. What's the moral of this story? Learn Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, roustabout story time! Que pasa? <laughs>